Hey hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you are watching Backup Baba. I hope you guys are doing great. And I got few queries uh, like how we can manually install an agent on a Linux server. Because uh, you guys have also faced like while doing the remote post, we sometimes we got some error. So today in this video, we are going to learn like how we can install any agent on a Linux server. So without wasting our time, uh, let's move to the home cell console. So there we can see the remaining process. So I have already logged in to the console console. As you know, the console console is a Java based console. From here, we can manage our jobs and we can create policies and we can install the agents and all. So in the left hand side, we, you can see in the client computer, uh, we have added two server. One is the, our console that is Agni and second is the Windows file server. That is the file server name. So today uh, we are going to install uh, a file system agent on a Linux server. So let's move to the Linux client. So there we do the manual installation. Yeah, so we have successfully logged into our Linux server. So just for your information, I have already downloaded the common Linux uh, packages and copied into the server. So the same thing uh, you guys have to do uh, prior installing the software. You have to download the Linux packages and uh, you have to copy uh, that particular software into any directory. So let's start the installation. Yeah. So here you have to open the terminal and you have to uh, like give the path where you have copied your software. So I have copied into the media and the name cv folder so, yeah so once you click the ls it will show you the available directory now again cd unix so here you can see uh the for directories and the files files which are available in the unix folder now you have to click dot backslash cvpkgadd you can see the same thing is available here so just you need to copy and paste it here and click enter so once you click enter a pop-up will open so here uh, you have to click on next so in the install task it is asking for two, two options either you want to install the package on this machine or you want to create a custom package so obviously uh, we will do the installation on this machine so just keeping it default and click next so here it is asking do you want to join an existing console or you want to go with the advanced selection so i will go with the advanced selection you can also go with the first option now clicking next so in this page it is asking for the which interface selections you want to go with because in my server there is two interface uh, so I will go with the first one that is 1.3 and clicking next now in the package selection uh, you have to select the packages which you want to install on this server so let's select file system and SQL server and click next so it is asking do you want to install the agent for restore only without consuming license so we will select no and clicking next so here this is the by uh, default directory so we will keep with the default and clicking next the same with the log directory we will keep the default one and clicking next so here uh, in this page it is asking for group unix group assignment so you if you have any group and for which you want to associate uh, with this client then you can click yes and provide the name of that particular group so in my case i will select no and clicking next so here it is asking for client host name so uh, my linux server client host name is linux server so i will keep it default and clicking next so, and in my case the client name is also the linux server so keeping this default and clicking next so this is the summary page so what we have done in the previous tab so this is all about this one so just review it and click next 
So now you can see the installing packages has started whatever we have selected. So we have selected the file system and uh, SQL agent. So it will take hardly one or two minutes. Yeah. yeah, so in this page, uh, it is asking for the server information. So in the server information, you have to provide the comserv hostname or either the gateway hostname. So my comserv hostname is uh, Agni, uh, but my IP address is 192.168.1.1. So here I am giving the IP address, but it is always recommended uh, to provide the hostname. So clicking next. So here it is asking for configured HTTP proxy. So we are not going to configure any proxy. So keeping it default and uh, click next. So here the firewall configuration is going to set up. And now uh, the information which we have provided. So as per information, uh, the Linux server is trying to communicate uh, with the com server. So let's put the username admin and the password and clicking next so as per the information which we have given here uh, it will try uh, to fetch the policies and groups from the com server yeah so as you can see uh, this client is uh, successfully able to fetch uh, the groups from the com server which we, which have already been created there so we are not going to select any group and clicking next. And it is also fetch the storage policy which we have created there. So for this one also, we are not going to select any policy and clicking next. Now this is the last stage. So here the client is trying to register themselves into the com server. So once the registrations got successful, uh, we will get back to the com server and there we, we will see like the client has been added there or not so hardly it will take a minute to complete the registration process Yeah, so you can see our installation has completed successfully. So now clicking next. <laughs> and uh, let's get back uh, to the console and there we will see like it has been added there or not. Yeah, so we are back on console. So here we will check the client has been added here or not. So in the left hand side, just click on client computer. Yeah, so here you can see uh, Linux client has been added with the name of the Linux server and also the there are two type of agent install one is file system and SQL server so once you click on Linux server it will provide you the time, uh, date installation date so it's on 1 1st of June 2023 so that's it guys uh, for this video I hope uh, you must have learned how to install an agent on our Linux server
So, but still, if you have any queries, uh, then please feel free to drop your queries in the comment box and I will try to revert as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video and please do not forget uh, to hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, we will again come back uh, with a new brand video very soon. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Take care.